We live, baby. Oh, we live, baby. Hey, y'all. It's three o'clock. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Hey, Britt. Hey, y'all. Happy, happy Monday. Money making Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Come on in the room. Let's see who's all going to join us. How have you guys Monday been going? My Monday has been crazy, but I'm going to make sure I have some good energies to drop these gems for y'all. So I need you guys to share this live, share it in your stories, tag people, tell them to join us, Laurel and I, and come on in this room. You know, we want to reach 300, 500 guests today. So I want my followers to make sure y'all show up and show out. Uh, <laughs> Hey, Eugene, Britt, don't talk about my hymn. Don't, come on. Y'all don't want me to start singing. So I'm excited. Laurel is going to join us um, until she gets there. I don't have my glasses on, y'all, so y'all know I can't see. Um, but who has their notebooks? Like, who literally has their notebooks? R drop me a comment. Who has their notebooks? Who has their notepads, phones, iPad? Because we're really going to drop some gems today. Um, I'm going to be speaking on a perspective of actually mastering branding through storytelling. So, all right, Laurel is here. Okay, Laurel, let me bring you on. Okay, so Laurel, you have to request to be live in my video. So let me know when you've done the request. Okay, I see view requests. I think. All right, Laurel, you should be good. Hey, I am trying here. I'm out in a coffee shop, so I'm trying to see if I can get it together. Can y'all see me? Uh, we Hold see on. a lot. I gotta put the camera. Hey, that's all right. Bring the camera down. Wait a minute. Here we go. Look at me feeling like an old lady. Can y'all see? <laughs> yes, we see Hold you. On. Oh no, not the not the fake lashes. There we go. Hey guys. I don't know. This is weird. You're like, I only see you, but I hope y'all can see me. Yeah. There's not much to look at today. <laughs> can you not see anybody else? Mm, I can see you, but that's I can't see myself. But that's okay. okay. You can't see yourself. Okay, so it's a it's a little button at the bottom and it allow you to see yourself, me, and the comments. Let me um let me go out and come back in because it's not hold on. Okay. Yeah, it looks weird today. All right, hold on one second. I'm sorry guys, hold on. You're fine. I'm super excited, y'all. What are, what are some things that y'all really want to learn today? Like let's just I just want you to put in the comments like what are some things that you really want to get out of today's session? Oh, okay. Hey, Kristen. Hi, Jess. I see you guys. Hey, Mel. Those Instagram updates. Okay, that's good. What else do you guys want to get out of today's session? Okay, Laurel, are you back? Because I'm going to be speaking from uh, a place of storytelling. I think a lot of people, when they think of branding or when they hear branding, it's like, Oh, pretty logos and beautiful fonts and beautiful websites. Um, but it's, it's so much more than that when it comes to branding. And so I'm literally speaking from a place of literally storytelling, um, connecting your audience, knowing what your audience want to see. So let's see. Okay, Laurel is back. All right. Let's see if it's working now. Yeah. I'm Are you back, Laurel? You good? I think so. Oh, I'm trying to get it together. Let me see if I can get a little filter saved, y'all. Oh, no, none of that. But I'm back. So, yeah, I realized that there has been a major update between, like, yesterday and today. So, yeah. guys, you're just going to have to get it how it is. So, you are, like, taking up the majority of my screen. I don't know what about me you guys can or can't see. I just see, like, a very, like, slither, and everything is kind of black background now. But we're good. We're good. It ain't about me. It's about you guys. I about you so <laughs> That's awesome but thank you so much for having me um we're super excited my audience is super excited um so we're really excited to just really be a part this campaign yeah. that doing is outstanding it's phenomenal i love when like genuine women can be connected genuinely uh because it's, it's not always 
Um, but I do appreciate you for even putting this campaign together. I think it's phenomenal. Um, and it's thank neat. you. Yes, I'm so excited. So I know that, hold on, let me get a little cozy. I know that, um, you know, we've had a different topic every week. And so yeah. everyone to really get out of, oh, you can see me. Someone said you can see me. Okay, good. Yeah, we can see you. <laughs> you can see me okay? Yeah, but it's it's going in and out a little bit. Okay. Um, like it's a little uh, frozen. I don't understand. They said they could see me. Can you see me? Yeah, Brittany? so we can see you, but it's just kind of in and out. Yep, we can... It's yeah, it's it's freezing on your end, Laurel. Ah, uh, hold on one second. Dang. Okay, so I see some of my followers. I see what you guys kind of want to talk about today. The new updates. I'm going to try to include that. This is actually Laurel's campaign, so she's going to be asking me some questions um, as it pertains to messaging and personal branding. I don't know what these questions are. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so Laurel just left, and she'll get back in. Um, but, yeah, I'm super excited that you guys are here. It's going to be who in here has been watching the other ones. Like, the other ones have been phenomenal. Um, Terry spoke yesterday on stocks, so make sure you follow her. Terry spoke on stocks and investing, super, super critical, important. Right before her was Megan, Megan Ward, powerful personal branding, product placement. That was an amazing live. And then Christy, woman CEO, um, she kicked off our first day one of Laurel's uh, 12 Days of Gifting, and she really spoke on marketing um, also. Very, very much powerful gems. The entire campaign, y'all, is just outstanding. All the women that's a part are experts in their fields. Like, these women are completely powerhouses. I don't know how I, you know, ended up in the lineup. But um, for some reason, Laurel thought that I was needed to be a part of this lineup. So I'm super, super excited. Um, Christy, Megan, Terry, you three did phenomenal and I can't wait to see what the other ladies have going forward the rest of this week. So make sure you guys um, just support this campaign. You know, it's already hard enough and tough for, you know, things to get out, especially during the holidays. So um, please make sure you guys support. It's awesome. It's going to be fantastic. And Laurel, let me know when you get back in and I will see it. Yes, thank you, Donnie. Thank you. Yes, we have the re okay. Laurel is back. All right, y'all comments are going quickly. Okay, Laurel. Okay, Laurel, you should be good now. Um, okay, Laurel is just waiting for you. Okay. Um, so she'll be jumping back on in a minute, guys. So thank y'all so much for your patience. Uh, we know how this technology works. So please just bear with us. Sometimes it works for us. Sometimes it doesn't. So thank you guys so much. I'm excited to talk to y'all. Y'all know I don't get on live long um, or often. So I am excited. Okay, Laurel is back. Brittany, can you hear me? Yes, Laurel. Okay. Can you and we can see you. Perfect. I think that you're breaking the internet. That's what I think is happening. Oh, honey, I'm... <laughs> And long as I'm internet with checks, you know, I yes. <laughs> oh my God. run rolling. I'll keep on breaking it. But yeah, you look, this is perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to leave as is. I just came in the car because I'm like, I don't know what's happening. But I'm back. Thank you guys so much. So excited. Um, yeah, let's dive in because I know tech, thank God this is going to save at the end. Yeah. But um, we have some really juicy stuff to share with everybody. So I appreciate your patience. And with this update, I'm going to have to talk to Zuckerberg later because I don't know what he thought was happening. You got to give a warning or something, right? Yeah. It's <laughs> okay. So amazing. I know that we are live on yours. So although most of the people here will um, obviously come from you, I still like to have this structure where 
you'll give a quick intro in case my audience has joined us as well. And anybody okay. here who's come from my account or who's an SSL, just drop SSL in the chat. And then we'll go ahead and I'll introduce myself to your audience. And then we'll get started because I've got some rapid fire questions for you. Oh, God. Rapid ready. fire. Awesome. Okay, so happy Monday, guys. So for those who are new to my page, I am Brittany McKinnon, uh, CEO and founder of Carter Solutions. We are a full service marketing agency who helps six and seven figure brands clarify their messaging through storytelling. So I'm really, really big on storytelling. I have a non traditional mindset when it comes to marketing. I'm not all about the perfect curated photos that we see online. I'm really, really big on storytelling and really creating that authentic message to grow a brand. I yes. have been in business for six years now, six long, who six long years of travel, depression, heartbreak, uh, but also six years <laughs> really just growth and success. Um, have an amazing team who work uh, with, B, with me at B Carter Solutions. So if anybody from B Carter Solutions is on here, can y'all just drop a little comment? Um, yes years of business um although it's been a lot of challenges with the business i wouldn't trade it for the world i wouldn't trade anything that i do for the world i have always had a passion for telling stories i have always tell had a passion for creating content content that people actually read and <laughs> and subscribe to and so literally since i was a little girl i have always had this uh passion for just like really helping people and serving and just really creating value and so that's kind of where we are with b carter solutions it wasn't oh, like this so Listen, I've only like began to see your work recently. And let me tell you, I'm talking like mind blow. I'm like, how have I not known her for longer? <laughs> like, what is happening? I like to stay low key, honestly. <laughs> That's why when you, you sent me an email, I was like, oh, you sure you want me on the lineup? Um, I, like <laughs> yes. to be, I, I, I like to be behind the scenes, like really just doing the work, helping clients, serving people. Um, but I am honored that you thought that I, I was needed to be a part of this lineup. So I'm excited. Oh. Oh my God, everything about what you do, I'm so excited, not just to share with the world, you know, and my audience, but to really dig deep so that I can understand too, what it takes coming from being behind the scenes. And I think we have a little bit of a connection too, um, which I'll, I'll bring up a little bit later, but I'm just, I'm so excited. So guys, we won't, you know, take too much longer for anyone who's here who doesn't, you know, know who I am. And thank you for hosting this on your side, by the way, too. Yeah. That was that was the goal, just introducing more people, you know? So, um, hi guys, my name is Lorel Lane and I'm the founder of the Social Sales Lab. Um, my amazing team and I, since we're talking about teamwork, make the dream work. Um, shout out Brie, Rona, Sade, Britt, oh my goodness, Benny, Jay, Chris, everybody. But yes. I, just, <laughs> <he's> like, <laughs> I just want to, um, you know, thank them. But also, you know, what we're doing here is is something I think just next level because, and not to, you know, but Facebook and Instagram is a platform that we're all obviously on. We're using 24 hours a day, but our mission is to serve other people and business owners who look like us, who come from maybe similar backgrounds that don't have access to the knowledge that monetization is key when it comes to social media. And we're on here being consumers anyway. So our mission is just to help as many people as possible come on like the other side and understand that you can grow your business significantly in just 30 to 60 days if you just learn some real solid strategy when it comes to running Facebook and Instagram ads. Yeah. So that's what we do in an intensive uh, program called the Social Sales Lab. And yeah, I come from television. So that's what I did for a living before I ended up coming over to the social media world. And yeah, I'm just really excited to get to know how your, um, I guess, industry and topic can help the world because what we do is actually very similar. Yeah. Right? So even though it's ads, right, but we need the creative side yeah. to even yeah. make a, a dent in your advertising. Absolutely. You need that messaging. You need that creative sales copy. So yeah, we do very, very similar work. Yes, yes. So I hope you guys are excited. Hey, Pollyanna, who else in the building? <laughs> Dang, we got some goats in here. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I'm excited. I'm super excited. Yes. Okay, okay. So let, let's get going. Um, and then obviously, guys, please make sure that you share this, follow both of us, and more 
than anything else, sign up at the link in bio so that you can opt in to get all the replays to these incredible mini trainings, the um, unlock all the special deals, and you'll be able to enter into the daily giveaway. So every single person on this lineup has an incredible offer that they are so just, I'm, I'm so blessed and grateful that they've been um, saying that we can give one away every day. So, yeah. yay. Awesome. All right. So, Brittany, I think it would be just amazing for us to start out with what is it that B Carter Solutions really does and, and stands for yeah. so that we can now get into like the, okay, well, why is that so important, the messaging, the storytelling? Yeah, yeah. So one of the things at our agency that we really, really focus on is really feel, ah, building the human connection. So I think oftentimes brands think like, oh my gosh, we have to have all these followers and we have to have this pretty content. We have to have these photo shoots. But like what people are missing is who are you building with already? Like who's the mm -hmm. following? How are you capitalizing and monetizing off them already by just being human and being authentic? And so at B Carter Solutions, and I have, I see some of my clients are online. Oh gosh, they're making me nervous. They're going to be like, hey. <laughs> but um, one of the things that, you know, at, at our agency, we only take on 10 brands per year. We, wow. at, at, yeah, okay. in the beginning, we were, we were literally doing 21 campaigns, overseeing 20 and 30 businesses. And right now we only focus on quality over quantity because okay. we make sure we build in on those relationships. We want to capitalize. I want to know your family. I want to know your husband, your children, your, your aunts, your uncle, because I always tell people, if you don't know your client, how are you going to market to them? Yeah. You want to be able to promote their services, promote their products if you know nothing about them. Yep. So my agency, we came up with just our secret sauce is that we really spend the time getting to know the client as a real person, because you cannot brand yourself online if you're not authentic, if you're not human, a human being. Yeah. You know, a lot of times, with these major brands and they, these small brands and personal brands, um, they sound too salesy. You know, where's the human in it? So we really make sure our clients know the human aspect of just being human, being yourself, going yep. out with your friends, going out with your families, um, and not just always coming off as a sale, sale, sale. So yeah. we focus on um, six and seven figure brands. You have to, you know, at least be generating six or seven figures. You have to be in business at least five to seven years. Um, and no shame, you know, to startups, who are just starting out, we always have resources for you guys, but we know, you know, we know our ideal client. We know our, yeah. client and you know, and it's totally okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. Okay. So you're, you're completely next level. And I love <laughs> that you say that, you know, even if they're not in a, in a, in a position to be an ideal client for you right at the moment, you can still help them in some sort of capacity. So yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, we don't ever push anybody away because, you know, we started small. You know, I started this business with literally $500 to my name. So I would never push away that small business who, who doesn't have the funding to afford our packages or to afford the $25,000 that we charge. However, yeah. I am going to be giving you value through these, these webinars, these lives, these my one-on-one, -on -one, my built-to-scale sessions. Like, I'm going to be always providing value because... If it wasn't for me in the beginning, you know, just growing this agency with my last five hundred dollars, I wouldn't be able to be at a place where I am at today. So it's always yeah. about giving and not really just, you know, shutting a business down because they don't have the funding, but seeing how can you provide value with what you yep. have. Yep, exactly, exactly. Okay. So now when it comes to almost like breaking down the pieces, right, to what it is that you do with these six and seven figure uh businesses, yeah. I mean they're already established. So you taking them to that next level, like what all do you guys, uh, what, what does a package entail? Yeah. So taking them to the next level, because you got to think when they're, when you're making, you're generating six and seven figures, like you already got it. Like you, you're, you think you got it. Well, but the thing is you're, they're so busy. They're overwhelmed. They don't have time to come up with the marketing strategy. They don't have time to, okay, Christmas is coming up. What do I need to do? They're so busy. Our, our clientele is so busy running the business, being in the business. They now need a marketing agency who's really going to take that completely hands off. So we're yes. social media management, meaning that you literally are giving it to us. You're giving it to your account manager to literally create all your content, create all of your strategy on your behalf, whichever platform you, you choose to, to select, either that's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or LinkedIn. And we're oh. content for you doing all of your strategy photography, videography, branding designs, and visuals. We're doing all that on your behalf. 
Um, whether you're doing a six month package with us or a 12 month package with us, we always aim to do at least six to 12 months. We have a client, a mental health client who's been our client for two years, but our ideal clients, they're just too busy. They don't yeah. have time to create a, a graphic. They don't have time to go on their social media, but that's our, that's our clientele. All yep. of them are super busy and it, they're honestly saving money because they could get a social media coordinator and, and pay fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year. However, yeah. A, you know half the price but even get more even more value you yes. get because now you have a personal social media manager who knows how to do graphics who knows how to do website who knows strategy who knows messaging and, and storytelling opposed to you know having somebody who has to outsource everything but yep. everything from one stop shop and okay. things that's that's our secret sauce <laughs> with my agency uh, I'm sorry our agency I hate doing that um it's <laughs> our agency um but one of the things with our agency is that we really take the time to get to know the clients so our clients can like text us call us we know about their families we know if something happens so we know their mood we know their personality a lot of marketing agencies won't know that and you mm -hmm. getting to know your clients and not even just for my agency for even somebody's on this call who's thinking of how to grow your audience and how to get some more clientele right know them or are you taking the time to know your audience Mm. Now content because it looks cute because it sounds like somebody else would say it but are you <laughs> fine um to really get to know your audience so that's something that's super important and that's something that we kind of identified and nailed down at b carter solutions is like getting to know our clients focusing on the quality over quantity and not just taking on any and everybody but you have to be ideal and it has to be a partnership for us yeah we you, you don't work for us. We work together here. Ooh, I love that. Okay. Okay. So it's a lot of social media strategy. And I'm asking a lot of this too, because I want to know, like, what yes. exactly all does B. Carter Solutions provide, okay. right? Um, and not that this is a sales pitch. Y'all already heard, heard Miss Brittany. She said they only pick, they are very picky and choosy. But I'm just curious to see how a full ad agency like this um, really, you know, comes off especially when it comes to like you being so particular, I love to see what is that niche? What is it that you're helping, you know, people with? Cause I know a lot of agencies out there like we can do it all. Yeah. And it's like, well, what are you good, good at? You know? Yeah. So glad that you said that because in the beginning, girl, I was, I, we were doing it all. And when it was just me, I mean, I was doing logos. I was designing graphics. I was figuring out website. I was doing PR. I was doing event play. No. Been up here who's been following me forever i had a i had event planning under the belt and i was like girl this is way too much like people are going yeah. to be confused and right. that's why i even teach in these sessions like clarity over confusion you mm, I like that okay offer because if you're offering x y and z if you're offering a million things it's i'm not even going to take you serious as a consumer so mm. we nail down service-based um industries and whatever that service base, that's real estate agents, real estate brokerages, um, in the healthcare industry. Like, that is who we focus on. Like, those okay. are sales. And, um, you know, we've done product based, but that's not our niche. We're not going to turn them down, but that's not our niche. Service based yeah. businesses um, who really understand the power of storytelling, who really allow us as a marketing agency to come on. You don't, no micromanagement um, yeah. to allow as experts because everyone on this team, they're all experts in their field. They all have you know, 10, 11 years of expertise who work here. So you got to allow us to do our jobs. Um, right. Focus heavy on is just having that clarity over confusion because if Ooh. you have so many signature offers, I'm not going to know what you offer. You yeah. know, excuse me. All right. I always tell people, <laughs> if you go to your page and um, within the first 15 to 30 seconds, if I can't see clearly what you do, then I'm going to somebody else. Yeah. So clearly what your message is and how you're going to help me survive and thrive. Yes, yes. And I love that clarity over confusion because it goes both ways, right? Yeah. When they see how clear you are on your offers, right? They're like, oh my God, you come into the space, you're going to help us just, you know, snatch everything together because yeah. yeah, a lot of times there's a lot going on. Okay, okay. So good. So now that we kind of got that under the belt, let's get to some juicy stuff. So oh. I know that you focus on storytelling, yeah. messaging, and really growing brands through these two major concepts so could you yeah. tell us you know i would just say maybe let's let's start off with two tips on well, well before we even get to tips what is storytelling and messaging when, yeah. when it comes to growing a business thank you i'm so glad you asked that sure thank you larelle so honestly storytelling is just being your authentic self 
so many times. Oh my gosh, my biggest pet peeve. I have a love hate relationship with social media. So storytelling is really bringing your customers on the journey by telling your story. So what is your story? Why did you, Laurel, start a advertising business where you're helping entrepreneurs with Facebook ads? Like, what is that reason? What is my reason for starting B Carter Solutions? Well, I wanted to help people tell a story because they could have been afraid to not have a voice. They didn't know how to convert. So you want to be able to share a story that your people can be able to resonate with. So many times I see people create content and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to create this because, you know, it looks cute or I haven't posted in six days, but no, you need to be able to create content that tells the story. And, and because I, I, I took a few classes on the psychological part of marketing, it comes from a psychological place. Marketing is all psychological. And um, yes. when you're doing marketing, you got to think of it from an outside, a different perspective. You can't think of marketing from the, re the, the regular general perspective that it is. You've yeah. got a strategy whenever you're thinking of marketing. And so yeah. I kind of included that into this agency with the work that we do for our clients. Um, really using that blue ocean strategy opposed to that red ocean strategy. Mm -hmm. I, I'm doing content or whatever. I'm, you know, telling the team how we're doing content. You got to be able to think outside of the box. And okay. so I push on really having an effective message. So if you okay. are a uh, skincare line, how does this specific product, how is it going to help that person, your customer thrive and survive? Like what, does that look like, what is that messaging? Is it clear? Do people know exactly what it is? How much is going to cost? How is it going to help me? And so every single client, no matter what their brand is, we go through and we dissect as a team. Yeah. So, you know, how is Dr. Stevens, as a mental health therapist, have we looked at all the odds? Right now it's a full pandemic. People are hurting. How are we going to implement this to her mental health clinic? So you yep. got to think logically and strategically when it comes to marketing, not just worry about the prettiness and the logos and the curated photos but yes. it's, or that's when you really start making big money when you start thinking strategically when it comes to marketing and not just living you know in the norm yes yes oh my god so much <laughs> to say about that like this oh my god so this might be one of the longer ones because it there's listen guys when it comes to advertising and creating content people sometimes get it mixed up they're like okay well this is my offer and this is what my content needs to be about, my offer. But I have something that, you know, that I teach my students that I feel like you may um, implement with your clients as well. We always want to focus on what's the problem, what's the pain point. Right? Yeah. That's, that's really, I think, all that matters at the end of the day is having that psychology of someone is struggling with this issue. Like you said, your client's pain points is, you know, they're established and they're making money, but they're too busy. So that, yeah. that may be one of their pain points. Yeah. Not just like, oh, B Carter Solutions all day. Well, what does that mean to them? Right. Like, you have to meet them where they are. And we do focus on creating um, ads or, or, or messaging that focus on the benefits versus the features. Yeah. Right? So for you, yeah. So for you, is that something that you would say um, is important when it comes to what you provide to your audience as well? Yeah, absolutely. So when you're doing marketing, and I always try to look at it from a different lens, I want to know from their emotional standpoint, how can my service help them get to X, Y, and Z? You know, how can my service really help them? Because, hey, there's, there are plenty of marketing agencies that you could have went with. Like, they could, they could go to yours. Um, and not that we do the same thing, but, like, you've got to really figure out how can your service or your product or what you offer really take your client to the, to the next level, X, Y, and Z, but have you really empathized with them? A lot of businesses yes. empathize and they don't practice empathy when it comes to building a brand. Ooh, like, yes. Pandemic going on, but I don't need for you to sell, sell, sell to me. Like, ask me about my well-being, you know, yes. and that's going on, but you can't always be in a place of just selling, selling, selling without empathizing with your clients. Apple, I do a lot of studying, um, for those who don't know me, a fun fact, I do a lot of studying. Apple right now, they just launched their app, the iPhone 12. They have included their customers in their customer journey, and their campaign they're doing right now is called Shot on iPhone. They're mm -hmm. including everybody in this campaign because they're encouraging you to, if you have an iPhone, I want to see how well you highlight this 5K video quality. So they have known how to target people's, their clients' emotions because they know that technology is the number one leading factor right now in the, in the nation. Yes. So amazing campaign, but they have mastered of running and learning people's emotions when it comes to um, telling a story. Yes, yes. Do you guys hear that? That's so important because we as consumers, we – know what it takes to you know make a decision on a purchase or 
you know, just, just fall in love with a brand. But when it comes to being on the other side and being the business owner, sometimes we get a little confused, right? And it's a, like a mindset shift from consumer to business owner. You're, you're not like completely forgetting what it was like to be a consumer. No, you still are. So think about how do you feel when you make a purchase? And I tell everybody too, um, and just to clarify, I don't have an agency. I have a, a program now. It's oh. just a mentorship program. Yeah. So um, it's different because I'm teaching CEOs how to implement this in their businesses. Whereas, yes, we have seven figure earners, but a lot of them are startups and starting very small and they need to be able to bootstrap and do this on their own. Gotcha. They, they need to, you know, learn Facebook ads. But when it comes to the messaging, it's the same thing. You have to get emotional. You yeah. have to like pull up on those strings, those emotional string, strings, because decisions are a lot of times emotional. Yeah, they are. A lot of people, the average person, they're, they're more inclined, statistically, they're more inclined to purchase your service or your product if you have something going out that they can relate to. Yes. So that's, you know, my personal brand, I always want to make sure I include those vulnerable moments. Like, hey, when I have sales palsy or hey, y'all, I ain't make a dime in August. Like, you got to be able to push content out that people can relate to because not everybody want to follow somebody where it's full of fluff or I'm, I can teach you how to make $60,000 in 60 minutes. Like, <laughs> that could be the case. You could teach me how to make $60,000 in 60 minutes, but what if I'm not there? What if I'm afraid to do that? You got to be able to see yes. the empathy in people. You got to be able to see marketing from a different lens um, yes. to grow a successful brand. And then yeah. once that once you have nailed that and i and I, I can only speak you know from trial and error i was not always like this you know i was the person first starting out just wanting a dollar just wanting a dime just after people for their money year three almost went bankrupt literally almost went bankrupt wow reconstruction my whole business my whole brand had to you know invest in professional development invest in people to come in shout out to janae elizabeth my growth strategist um who really just had to help me come in and like Brittany, you got to get out of that mindset of just always selling to people and so now i implement that we implement it at our agency so our clients is that you can't always just be in it for the dollar like how are you giving yes people? You serving people and i think that is where success really stems from um is how you giving to people and how are you credible you know yes. i'm not going to be out here teaching these master classes if i have not had trial and error and if i have not have results and that i show credibility of getting results from what i'm doing yes yes and that is crazy just because anybody who knows me or who has taken any of my classes, they know that I'm a huge fan of Zig Ziglar. And he yeah. says, if you help enough other people in this world, you will get everything you want in life. Yep. And I live by that because not just with what we offer, right? But even when I'm teaching my students about running their ads and doing that, or even when you're serving your clients, you have to be serving someone else because integrity goes a long way. Yes. And it's not just like, oh, what are we doing, right? But when you're when you're helping them create this messaging, I think it's important to implement that too, which it sounds like you do. You're teaching them or you're you're setting their marketing up to say, we are here to serve you. Yes. Because it's just that cycle and it yep. continues. And it'll make selling a whole lot easier when people yeah. really feel like they care. Yeah. Like you care. Yeah. When you can literally figure out the secret sauce to really just focus your messaging on being clear and come off as a, a business or a brand of really just serving and making an impact in all of your messaging, you'll see a significant double, triple in your revenue because now yeah. people are more inclined to support what you have. They're yeah. more inclined to build that human connection. They're more inclined to stay loyal to you because yeah. of what you're now putting out. And it all starts with the messaging. The yeah. message has to be relevant and it has to be focused and it has to be repeatable. Like, Ooh, run that back, run that back. <laughs> that has to be relevant. It has to be, dang it, what was my number two? Relevant, um, focus, focus and repeatable. It literally has yeah. to be those three things because when people are, are talking, when people are speaking of your brand, they got to be able to, to understand the message and it has to be clear, it has to be focused and it has to be repeatable. Yes, yes. Okay, amazing. So, <laughs> What about, you know, I feel as if that a lot of people on here um, are maybe starting, put startup in the chat if you're more so in the startup phases, if you're in the six and seven, seven figure bucket, put that too, right? But I want to know, do you have any tips for those who are on either side? Maybe, I know you work with the six and seven figure earners, but what about the startups? When it comes to storytelling and messaging, what can they do to implement this, even if they're just, you know, itty bitty right now? 
Yeah, so shout out Callie. Gonna hate that I'm shouting her out, but shout out <laughs> Callie Combs. That was we just, just got, I mean, 15 minutes ago, we just got off our built to scale. Um, and so we literally had an amazing session. But Callie is also kind of in that startup space. But one of the things I was telling her on her, on her uh, session is building credibility. So if you are in that, mm -hmm. are just starting out, how are you credible? Do you Got have it. testimonials from the work that you have done? Um, do you have any, any, um, any results of the work that you, have, that you have done? Like getting testimonials, really building up that credibility if you are just starting. Also, okay. to show your audience and take your audience on your journey. So if you are just starting up, what is your product, what is your service, and how are you taking your audience on that journey? Do some giveaways. Give away something so people can know your products, know about your services, um, and really just include people in your journey. Also, um, the type of content. You got to be consistent. There are so many people, and I see it all the time, they're afraid to show up online, y'all. They're afraid yeah. to show up online because yeah. they're shy, they don't know what to post, they don't know what to say, opposed to really honing in on your followers. So many people focus on followers, followers, followers. It's my biggest pet peeve. Like, I know people with 100,000 followers who can't even sell a $20 t-shirt. At all. But it's about influencing <laughs> for popularity. And like, I love how my tribe shows up for everything that I do. I tell people if I sell toenails, because I have built that customer loyalty, no matter what I sell, I will have people buy into it because people buy into me as a person. They know I'm genuine, they know I'm authentic. Yes. No, I'm going to keep it real at all times. And that's what you got to realize when you're starting a brand, small scale or large scale, people buy into you as a human person. People yes. Service, they're not buying into your products. They're buying into you as a person. So if I know that you're loyal, I know that you're dependable. I know that you're going to over deliver. I know that if I ask you to do something, I'm, I'm going to get 10 times more. That is what's going to keep me coming back to your business and keep subscribing Ooh. because I know I can depend on you. Preach. And you know what? It's the consistency for me because that's been my thing, right? So when you show up consistently, and not that I'm perfect at this at all, but, you know, and, and that can mean a million different things. That can mean yeah. showing up every day. That can mean doing something where maybe you're going live every day. Maybe yeah. instead, if you realize your, your schedule really doesn't allow for you to be consistent, yeah. then run some ads so that you yeah. can actually be there showing up. Right? Yeah. Or hire an agency like B Carter Solutions to take it completely offhand. So there's so many ways, but a lot of people, yeah. yeah, in the startup phase, I feel like a lot of people have like that up and down emotion yeah. that they don't realize it has a, a real impact on their business. Yeah. And, and honestly, you know, at one point we were all in the startup phase. So that's why I don't ever ever like i would never say that like I'm, I'm better than anybody i've always we're we all started from the startup phase we all bootstrapped to get to where we are so yeah. you, you'll never see me or this agency ever come off as like pushing a company away pushing a brand away or anything like that we're always going to make sure we're providing value and serving people but it's it's, it's honestly about one investing back into your business that was one of the things yeah. that I wish I would have done, you know, in my earlier years of like really investing, but I have no money. So I, I, I had to learn through Google University. Um, <laughs> a lot of startups, you, you got to invest back in your business. If you want to make money, you got to spend money. You know, I have to spend professional development for myself as a leader because I can't show up for my team if I don't know what I'm doing. Yes. No one is going to follow me if I don't know what I am doing. So I will yeah. eat drop 10 15k on professional development for Brittany for self to get my workflows to get my systems to get my processes in place because in, in order to lead you got to be able to, to still be teachable and yeah. that is something teaching these courses and these master classes that you got to forever be a student because if you're not forever being a student nobody likes to know it all mm -hmm. so like you gotta always remain a student to and to still be taught and be teachable it's different from being taught and teachable because you got to be able You there, Lorel? I'm yeah. here. Yeah, you, oh. you're freezing. <laughs> you're freezing. I'm here. I'm here. That's that's amazing. So, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So, being teachable is so important, especially yeah. I know how you said you know being in the startup phase, being consistent, right, and taking them along that journey. That was so mind blowing for me because. To be vulnerable, it's a little difficult at times, especially in this Instagram world where everybody just wants to show the good stuff. So when you said taking people on that journey with you, 
can you give an example for someone who's maybe just starting up like does that mean uh, behind the scenes in their business or does that mean uh yeah. what, what does that look like that's exactly what it means so okay everybody's saying we're both freezing so are we still freezing or are we good um i look fine but on my screen you look a little blurry so I'm, I'm not um what about I'm not sure. no i moved my wi-fi do i still look blurry but can can y'all hear me yeah you look blurry but we could hear you much better now okay all right uh, you look cl super clear on my end um, but yeah, what you said is so true. Taking them on the journey. So behind the scenes. So as I was telling Callie this morning, so behind the scenes, like what you're doing, you know, in your, at your house, home office, wherever, like interacting with your clients, like what does that look like? I want to be able to see you as a person, as a human, as a business, as a brand. So what does that look like? Behind the scenes, um, doing live videos, showing up on your day to day. Like I want to be able to see you as a human, as a real person, so I can really buy into you. Because if you're just starting out, and I saw somebody ask the question, um, how do you start with no money? Hey, I bootstrap all the way to seven figures. I mean, like, full boots, boots, sneakers, dirt, <laughs> mud, everything. Tim's got the Tim's on. Right. <laughs> and if you're familiar with the crowdfunding space, um, you know, yeah. crowdfunding, get, I, I hate to say get the business loans, but I had got a business loan when I first started out. And, Lord took three years to pay that off. Um, but I, I don't recommend people go to business loan route. But if you have to, then you got to do what you got to do, you yeah. know? And yeah. if you start a phase, not everybody comes from wealthy parents. You know, I grew up in poverty. So you got to figure out if it's important to you, if this business is important to you, you will find a way to make it happen. Um, yeah. Got business loans, which I hate. I advise that's the last option. But um, you have the crowdfunding where you can ask people to help fundraising. If you have a great business idea, you have people, you have grants. Um, I'm a part of SBA, sba.gov. They give a lot of grants to minorities, women-owned businesses. Like, find the local resources. There's, there's help out there. But the yeah. thing I found is that people are lazy. I'm just going to be completely honest. People are lazy. <laughs> business owners are lazy, and they want everything handed to them. Yeah. And so if y'all been following me for years, I'm just not that person that's going to hand it to you. Like, I'm going to give it to you real. I'm going to keep it real at all times. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to hold handhold you because I hand, hand whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to do that because nobody did it for me. So mm. I, will sh I will teach you. I will show you the ropes. But it's literally up to you to apply every single thing that has been taught. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. So, so when you say right, that you only take on 10 clients. Now I'm just getting excited for like next steps, right? So what, what about those others? Like, how can people work with you if they're not in that $25,000, you know, price point right now? Yeah, so I have the, we have the build the scale. We're doing, Big Car Solutions doing a full rebrand. So shout out to Carmen and Eugene, everybody on our team who's doing that. So we're doing a full rebrand. I can't tell you guys exactly everything we're working on, but there are going to be some programs and some things that we're implementing in 2021 for those business owners who still want to get the knowledge, to get the value, get the gems. Um, you may not have the 20K and higher budget to work with our agency, but I am always going to still provide some type of value and insights for us to help you um, grow your brand and your business. We have these one-on-ones, these sessions that I do every single day. Um, and on these sessions, you're literally getting me going through your brand, dissecting your brand, helping you with messaging wow. content. You get a logo, you get graphics. So basically, this is what these built to scales are. And if you, you know, and to be honest, if, if people don't have seven hundred dollars for their business, then I, you know, I I can't go no lower. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not for what you are. You, you know, you got to be able to meet people where they are, but you also got to be, you know, it has to make sense. Yeah, that's that's insane. So I didn't even know you offered something that that level before we met. So that's guys, do y'all hear this? To yeah. work with the great, to have, uh, <laughs> is it a one hour session or a yeah. half an hour? Two hours, two, two to two and a half hours. Kelly, how long we were up there today? Like almost three, uh, two and a half hours. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, guys. Well, I could ask so many more questions, but I feel like she's already given us so much more than she probably even anticipated. But we need to get on our stuff. We all have some work to do here. Um, we need. Let's do a little recap real quick before we leave them. So, your content needs to be relevant, focused, and repeatable. Repeatable. Okay, yeah. then take out said two and a half a girl. You probably got an extra half hour on that. Don't be <laughs> two and okay, a half. So, yeah. so rele 
relevant, focused, and repeatable. We need to be consistent. We need to bring people behind the scenes in our storytelling and our messaging because yes. people buy from us, not yes. from the business or the brand. Yep. We are that, and that's what they want to see. Yeah. Right. Was there anything else I missed? Um, having your messaging really, really clear and also being consistent, showing up in your business, showing up in your brand, whether that's one time a week, two times a week, three times a week. I try to post every single day on my social media just to really build that com that connection with people. And also like capitalize on your audience and not capitalize as like selling them something, but like actually see who's following you, see what they want to see, like see exactly what they want, ask them. Like a lot of people, they don't even talk to you. I respond to every single comment. My husband like, girl, you got <laughs> 300 comments on this post. You are not about to sit there and answer all of us. I guess I, I answer every single comment. I answer every single DM. So like you gotta be able to really show people that you're there for them and not there just to you know take people's money like you got to show people like hey i really want to help you like i really yes. want to, um i i really yeah. that you know when i reach out to people and they don't respond to my dm um they'll see it because i'm really big on like being authentic like i'm, I'm super if i if i go to your city and I, and I think you're a powerhouse i want to meet up with you i want to take you to dinner and you know it, not everybody's authentic not everybody you know, has the same mindset as me. And that's totally okay. But I'm really, really big on surrounding myself around authentic people at all times. Because once you surround yourself with authentic people, the success will just keep coming. It'll just keep yeah. coming. Yeah, yeah. And one last thing to add to that, I think it's important to note that when you are building the storytelling and messaging and brand, I find that not only is selling easy, but building up that momentum to just skyrocket your growth happens a lot quicker because now people feel the vibes and they're going to share that experience with others. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then you'll be known for, you know what, this is the person you need to go to literally. At, we have a wait list right now because of the referrals. Like I have, I have my clients who's on this live right now. Like shout out to Deandra who's already referred like four people to us. I'm um, literally just by word of mouth. And because whenever you show up, you're good people, you're authentic, you'll ha you're constantly have not to look for clients. Clients will just be there. They'll just keep coming because of how you show up to people. And people, yes. can, this is, a, I'm a faith-based Christian up in here. Um, and I run my business um, through integrity, through morals. And if I'm not doing something correctly, I'm going to make sure that I, 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 I be convicted of it. So I, yes. I want the thing that I do is always of integrity values and morals um and that's how you really win in business it's not about how many followers you have how much money in your bank um it's really about getting to a place of um just being authentic and human and really just capitalizing on the people who are there for you Woo! got a whole word okay so i don't want to rob you of any more time because <laughs> this right here i know that people have pages of notes i know that i have so much that i need to work on now even just hearing this from you so First and foremost, I just want to thank you for even blessing us with your presence because this was a hot topic that a lot of my members asked for, a lot of my audience, and sometimes people are just confused. They don't know where to start. Yeah. So what I do want to um, let everybody know is that if you want to snatch up one of her, because it's her, right? It's you on these calls. So oh, it's, live. it's live, yes. Wow. So I know what I'm saying is when you they book a strategy session, there's only so much time in the day. Mm -hmm. So if you want to snatch up one of these, she has an extra special offer for you. Click the link in my bio. And she has specifically just blessed us with this for this campaign for you guys. For we are in the gift of giving, right? The season right now for giving. So go ahead and snatch up one of her sessions before the year is over or if it goes even better and start off with getting your whole business snatch branding storytelling what you said logo woo, logo visual and design we do everything at our agency and i and i wow. teach them on the on the session <laughs> wow callie Combs said you better snatch it up too yes so guys <laughs> all you have to do is click the link in my bio use code or well, actually yours is, is already applied i believe it doesn't need a code for yours right yep, yeah she already dropped it down in price by a lot and the only way to get it is to go to Laurel's favorite things.com sign up and you'll be able to unlock her deal today. Yes. So and guys take advantage of all the deals. Like I yes. am, I plan on supporting every single, all 11 women who's on this campaign. I need some icons from Megan. I need some <laughs> trade 
Christy. I need stocks from um, Terry. So, yes, everybody, just make sure you support. The campaign is phenomenal. Um, Laurel, thank you so much for all that you've done. Shout out and kudos to you because this has been amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, some people are asking about my Instagram. It's at Laurel Lane. Um, maybe, Britt, you can post it after so um, yeah. they can easily click through. She can also maybe do a swipe up so you guys have easy access. Go unlock her deal and grab it now so that you can get the goods for top of the year. So yeah. I'm very, very excited. So thank you guys so, so much. And we've got a giveaway, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, my God. Let's talk about the giveaway for a second. And you guys, when you sign up, you are entered automatically into the giveaway that we will be picking the winners and announcing the winners, I'm sorry, on December 26th. Yes. Okay. You guys, sign up for the giveaway on Laurel's website. Please, please, it's in her bio. Sign up for the giveaway. So I am literally gifting somebody a free session. Like, the whole session is going to be completely free. This is a $2,000 value. Um, so whoever Laurel selects or how we're doing the selection, yep. you're going to get this entire session that I offer for free. And you, that's a free logo. A content planning. Wow. Tip. I'm really going to dissect your brand. We're going to go through your brand. And it is literally all free. Um, nothing for you. Anybody who takes um, my master class, I then um, meet on a monthly basis to a mentorship group. And we check in and we have accountability. We talk about, um, you know, everybody's success, their wins. I share what we're doing. I share strategies. And so it becomes a sisterhood, honestly, or, or brotherhood, because I do have some men. Um, so it becomes a family. It becomes a community. So you will get this whole entire session for free uh, once we select a winner. Yes, yes, guys. And all you have to do is sign up. And sign once you sign up, the instructions are there. It tells you it's very simple. You sign up. You follow everybody on the 12 things. And go ahead and just, you know, follow the instructions, and you'll be entered into the daily giveaway. So thank you so, so much. I'm just so um, honored that you've been able to come on and show so much love. So, guys, we will see you tomorrow on it's day, I don't even know, day five. <laughs> this is yeah, day five. Like, hey, I actually messed the days up. I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs>